What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a great and amazing day. It's a really hot day in Michigan here. It is 90 degrees. So our topic of today's video is going to be tires. <laughs> tires are one of the most, if not the most important thing on your car because without them, you know, you're just going to be spinning through gears and going nowhere. But real quick, before we get into tires, I just kind of wanted to take a second to say thank you. This channel finally hit 445 subscribers, which is like amazing to me. Like I think of all you guys as my friends and like people who I can talk to and that like, you know, you guys have all been so nice and so supportive throughout this uh, automotive journey, which is by far finished. But um, like, I just kind of wanted to say thank you. Keep it up, you guys have been great. So you know, if you're not part of the you know subscribers, make sure to smash that subscribe button to stick around. I would love to have you as one of my friends. So like I said, I think tires are one of the most important things that you can put on your vehicle in regards to performance and upgrades or really anything like that. And this became more apparent to me as I got vehicles that were more powerful. For example, when I first bought my Corvette Z06, it had some old tires on it and I knew that tires would be like, I, I would need to buy them pretty much as soon as possible. So about a thousand miles after I bought the car, um, after shopping and just looking around and trying to get the best deal and just really figure out what I wanted, I finally purchased and settled on these tires that I have now. And a new set of tires completely woke up this vehicle. <laughs> all the way through first um, I would spend a decent amount in second sometimes even third gear if it was really cold outside or something of that nature for those of you who don't know when it is cold outside the rubber on your tires hardens making your tires slip more so in warmer weather or when your tires are warmer they grab the ground better than in the cold that's why you'll see like on the drag strip for example people always do a big burnout before they launch their car and that's to warm up the tires make them like stickier and being able to grip better so just a little fact for those of you who didn't know that with my old tires on the car i really didn't get a chance to experience the power that this vehicle has and that is completely because i was just spinning where i could have been hooking and launching and now that i have new tires on the car i pretty much dead hook in first if i'm going from a dig i do have to like launch it pretty well you obviously can't just rev up to 6,000 rpms and dump the clutch and expect your car to hook on pretty much any tire but for the most part like i'll always hook in first every once in a while if i do a very 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 good pull i will chirp just a tiny bit going into second but like these tires are amazing. So we're just driving along here and look at this orange C8, dude. I don't think I've seen an orange one yet. I mean, it's just using it as a coat rack. It's got this Z71 package on it too. Ooh, look at this blue Mustang up here too. This thing is nice. That's really clean. I like, I like the grill. So here we are outside of the car. This is my Corvette Z06. Um, great and amazing car, but we're not going to be talking about the car itself today. Now, these are the tires that I recently purchased. The Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. I got 325's on the back. And then on the front, we have, you know, same whatever for us. And then 275 somewhere. Yep, right there, 275. So before this car had these on it, I had the Eagle F1s, which I believe were the stock tires on this car, if I'm not mistaken. So honestly, I have been nothing but impressed with these tires. It's kind of hard to see down here, but this is like the tread pattern that you're looking at. They're, they're a relatively soft tire. They're expected to run about um, 10 to 15,000 miles is what the guy at uh, Discount Tire told me. Um, I purchased these at Discount Tire and I paid $1,400 and that's for everything. So install, you know, mounting, balancing, getting rid of the old tires, that is everything out the door, $1,400. So I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with my, with my purchase. And again, the guy said that around 10 to 15,000 miles, but 
um you know that all depends on how you drive the car if you're taking to these these to the track every day ripping fat burnouts all the time you know they're obviously not going to last that long but they're a nice soft tire um great tread pattern work really 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 well this car makes 505 horsepower to the crank so i mean that's a decent amount of horsepower on a lighter car and i barely spin in these tires at all so like they hook really really well and i have absolutely no complaints in that department so i guess a good sentence to describe these tires is that they are a great all-around tire performance wise they're going to give you great and amazing performance at a pretty reasonable price um if you are tire shopping or looking around you know performance tires can run you a lot of money so like i would say that the, the 1400 is pretty much average for what you're going to pay it's not some crazy top of the line tire but it's not the bottom of the barrel cheap stuff so it's a good in between and you get a lot of money a lot of value for your money but they're a great all-around performance tire i can drive these in the rain it's not that big of a deal i can take this you know on the street just doing a couple pulls down the street or i can take these to the drag strip and the track i took these to the drag strip two times so far and they performed amazing um my best time in this car so far is an 11.9 on the quarter mile which isn't great like i'm not a professional driver or anything but tires are gonna be the number one thing that help you on the drag strip. Because if you can get a good launch, like these tires help you to do, that is one of the best things that can help your time. So these are, you can track these tires if you want to, you can drag them, you can just drive them on the street regularly, or just with like rain or regular everyday uh, things that you would see on the road. Perfect all around tire, and I am very, very happy with my purchase. So now it's time to drive the car. We're gonna do a couple poles, and I'm gonna show you guys how good these tires are, how well they hook. All right, this is gonna be our first launch here. Uh, 4,000 RPMs, first gear.